Hey guys, um, it's Scotty Boy, and today I'm gonna try to explain blinding wells in a manner of helping. First, we gotta get there. I'm gonna step by step show you all the way through it and hopefully open up some things that some people don't necessarily see. You know, like direct your eyes towards details. being able to show you guys it uh, what do we got here we got tier one perfect right off the bat so for those of you that do not know you um blind wells kind of like a um you go to the bubble and you like kill things just a kill spree First you start off here, there's a tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3, and they're gradually getting harder. They have different bosses in each and all of them. You run up to the bubble. Well, these guys are already way ahead of me. But here's the current bubble. There's usually about 4 to 5 bubbles. No, no, 4. And then the 5th one, with the skull you can see in my corner on the left side. Is the big boss. I mean, you say you're just killing stuff until you hit 100% on light deposit. that have the big black circles around them. So you'll pick up the ball and you'll get, as you see in the left corner, about 15 seconds of immunity to it. This is also used to um, defeat certain bosses here. Without it, you can't do any damage and it's, they're practically immune to it. Completely immune to my grenade. Once you hear, that's oh, there he is. One of those guys, grab that, run up to the big guy, and then we're gonna be just awesome on a stain. Um, it also, um, makes your abilities come back faster. Um, I don't know if it does so well for the melee and the grenade and class abilities, but I do know it does quite a big difference at making your super pop back up really quick. And that was tier 1, I'm hoping I can show you guys tier 2.
see if I can find it. Come on. Just two, three, here's two, two. Mid high power. We're about to be popular. Hopefully I'll be able to run you guys through all three tiers and explain all the bosses. The first one is pretty simple. Like I said before, you just grab one of those orbs, run up to it, do some damage, heal comes off, everybody can hurt him. to the next one up. Get this party started. And for those of those who are wondering who I am and, you know, like, who the hell is this guy? You know, he only got, like, a couple of subscribers and this and that. Like, hey, screw him. Who is he? Well, um, I have just recently started playing Destiny 2. Maybe about a month or two ago. I learned pretty quick. Picked up a couple things here and there. Um... And a lot of people tend to ask me, um, why is my name always Scotsman or Scotty or whatever? That is because I am actually Scottish. I am not from Scotland, but my family is, so heritage. And I just figured that, you know, let's start up a YouTube channel. Try something new. I love playing games. Specifically the Destiny series. I came from Destiny 1. Playing a couple of years. I left because I started getting sandwiched and I got bored of it. I ended up starting to play Destiny 2 and I got hooked into it real quick. <laughs> It is a chicken. And if anyone has any questions, you can drop them down in the comments below. I will try my best in, you know, future coming videos and updates to answer them. Knowing that I'm still new, so I'm gonna try everything I can to, you know, give you guys something worth worth watching. Hopefully, because I'm not that bad. <laughs> oh, I'm taking so much damage right now. Jesus.
Show you guys the uh, how fast the uh, stat in like repels your super back, and it didn't take very long as you've noticed. I have my super back, maybe 10 20 seconds, I'd say, at most. That was pretty good. Probably can go a lot faster if you have god rolls, which is like basically all your stats are straight 100. and stuff like that. I do not have any of that currently. Almost done. Nice. We're doing it pretty decently. But I don't want to spend too much time with you guys sitting here. Like, what the hell? My boy just stole my bubble. Second's just regular, you do the rounds, then you go to the, you know, bosses and whatever, and then you collect the chest and yay, right? The third one, however, is a little more fun, I'd say, because this one I like to call a double round, like an extra round. The third one, at the end of it, instead of just the regular bosses, there will be three bosses. You have, you know, one about here, one over there, there'll be one up there. Then you can run back down here after, and if you have it in your inventory, unstable, uh, I think it's charge of light. You can uh, come down here, drop it into the freaking, the fountain, you know, whatever, the well. Summon another round and basically an extra boss, and he will appear right up there. And you can defeat him the same way. Um, sometimes there's rounds where they get a little different, and I'm hoping that this one of these rounds are gonna explain that to you guys. Round instead of having those giant older looking bastards, the abomination guys, or whatever. There will be rounds where there's a, um, the, uh, captain looking guys, and you can't use the, uh, the little blue ball to uh, walk up to them. 
and attack him, you're gonna be immune, and I believe the way it's not getting killed off is you have to blow up all the uh, exploder little bugger, the squeeze. You blow them up near him, and it'll hopefully not be killed off. I might have to do it a couple of times, so. Once you break your shield off, everybody can damage him for like a certain period of time. And yeah. I'll try to show you guys about the, the whole charge for lights and stuff. Hopefully my inventory overloads. Alright, here we go. These are the, um, hold up, the Charge of Light Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. You can only carry a max of 5 for all of these, and the, uh, Unstable Charge of Light. You can only carry really 5, yeah. Also... On top of that, if you're having trouble getting them, which for me it's not super thicker get them from like here. Um you do get them occasionally. But uh if you're having trouble getting these charges, there's usually plenty of other plays here, like all the time. Uh that you can probably just ride off of. Which not to be rude, but you know. And if that's the case where there's nobody here and you want to fire up one yourself, they, um, you can collect them um, from the chests. You do pick up a whole lot of the dark fragment thing here, and you can take them to. I forget what her name is sometimes, uh, Petra, and she will, um, have a bunch of the, uh, things, you know, Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and she also, I believe she has the unstable charges of light, too. You can buy them from her for, like, 25 of those. Currently a Destiny 2 player, you cannot tell me that the uh, Queen, the scorn based design of a Thrall, they're way worse than the regular first Thrall. They just move faster, they're way creepier, they're just annoying, and they trap with much bigger packs way more often than the regular first Thrall do. Except for that one guy I just shot, for some reason he's all by himself. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, where's this next one? We're going up. On the left. There we go.
好。That guy almost bit his head on the moon and cracked it open like an egg. <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 no. Big boss. Yeah. All right, this is the part where you can run down here and you can pop in another one of those. Seems like the well's overclocking. So let's say the well is right there in the corner. Now this is the fun round. This is where you got one. Every week it changes, so it's not always going to be the same. So you be aware, sometimes it will be taken. Um, sometimes it will just be torn. But, yeah. This is the part where you have to, uh, oh, come on. This is the no, 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 no. You gotta try to blow those guys up right near her. Then you can go in and attack him. Take the damage block. Do be careful though, if you're using a close up, yeah, like that, if you're using like a direct keeper, so like a direct super, like a striker, you know, uh, those uh, uh, heart strikers and that type of stuff, they will spawn right under, under you and kill you. And the view is not very tough. <laughs> Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Nope. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> oh, jump! Jump, my dude! Jump! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, he got busted apart. He had to teleport out. <laughs> I'm probably gonna die during this, yes I am. Nope, nope. Nope! <laughs> and that, my friends, and watchers, and, you know, whatever, our family and all that, is 
the basics of um, blind wells. It is particularly good if you are trying to, um, for example, jump like that. Like if you're new to the game or you're you just you're still at low like 1050 light. This is a very good way to get yourself up to uh, 1200 pretty decently quick. After there, not so good. Yeah, you're gonna need a whole lot of like Prentice Gold gear and uh, special stuff. You know, like uh, powerful engrams and exotics tend to do the same too. But that's, there you go guys, that is the a tutorial for Blind Wells, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did or didn't, please subscribe, a like wouldn't hurt either, and if you didn't, please comment down below what you think I could do better, because I am a new starting YouTuber. And I will see you guys. Scotty Boy is out.